Hello, Jesse Good here. Ah, so much. My Target finally put out the Lego minifigures, the Ninjago series. So today I'm going to be opening up 15 of these packs, and let's hope I get the six that I'm missing and some good extras. Let's see what's inside this one. And it is, oh, it's a casual Lloyd. Now, if you saw my other pack opening, you already know I have this guy. I complained on how he didn't have back torso printing, but you guys pointed out that the hood was his back torso printing in the set. So it makes sense he doesn't have back torso printing because he has the hood up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, even though I would like those wrinkles right there. It's weird because I just noticed this one has some side arm printing while the actual set version doesn't. I don't know, it's weird. And for pack number two, let's see what's inside. It is, oh cool, one I don't have. So this one is the hilarious past Garmadon, which you can see he has his Volcano Dream House right there, a camera, and I love how he just kind of has this casual dad look. Uh, of course he does use that uh, different torso upper part, which connects to uh, the top of the torso, which is Garmadon's piece. This time it's inverted so that the printing is on the front. And he also uses this hair piece in this nice kind of tan coloring, which did appear in, I think, a Madra building. I love those sunglasses as well. So two down, 13 more to go. Let's see who's in this one. And it seems like we're getting, I think, oh cool, the GPL Tech. This is another one I didn't have before, and I really like how she has Batman underneath her lab coat as a shirt. Wonder if they had to get the license for that. Just a normal laptop and cup, kind of weak accessories. You do get this uh, French braid here, which I think is the first time we're getting in this light brown, because we usually get it in dark brown, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. Also, her dual molded legs are nice, except in this middle part right here, where you can see a little bit of the white kind of bleeding through the middle, which is kind of odd, but I guess that's just how the printing would work. The reason I'm not really showing any back facial printing on these is because I don't think any of them have back facial printing. No alternate expressions or anything, which is kind of weak. But uh, inside here, we have, oh cool, another coal. So keep in mind, I did feel a lot of these up because you know, I am missing those six. So I felt up the six, I hope I got them. And if I found an extra that I wanted, like coal, I, I put it to the side. And I, I got that for about maybe five of them that I found extras I wanted. So there's still some random packs in here. Love this design for Cole with that uh, new hair piece and the ACDC reference on the shirt. All right, next pack, let's see what's inside. And it is, ah, oh, cool, Shark Army number one, I think it's called. So here's a Shark Army General number one, another one that I didn't have before, so I'm very happy to get her. Very cute figure. Oh my gosh, this, the Lego Star Wars 2 Electric Boogaloo group page will go insane over me saying that. And I do love this uh, little slushy right here, which has a great kind of fizzy design. Maybe it's Boba T, I don't know. And of course we do have this hair piece, the Zombie Businessman hair piece in black, which is great to get, and just a very cute expression. Actually, if you look closely in the trailer, you could actually see the Shark Army General number one inside the trailer for like a split second. I think she pushes over Lloyd. And, oh, piece popped out. It's, oh cool, Volcano Garmadon. So this figure is hilarious. Just like past Garmadon, I really like this one. It's Volcano Garmadon, and you can see he has Volcano pajamas all over. And you could even see some printing on all four of the arms, which it does use that upper piece right there that uh, past Garmadon used, of course, inverted. And he even has a different facial expression. You know, they could have done this with Floyd, just a little bit of a different facial expression. And this one is smiling to the opposite side. Because, you know, that one with the ninja outfit for Lloyd has the same one in most of the sets. Also, the helmet is in this one, which that only comes in more expensive sets like the Green Ninja Mech Dragon and uh, the Garmadon uh, Garma Mecha Man. So I'm glad to get that in a cheap way. And I love this bowl right here with the new printing and, of course, getting that spoon. All right, let's see what's inside here. It is, oh, another new one, Spinjitzu Training Nia. So here's Pinjitsu training Nia, and this one's kind of a lame one. Her outfit's the same training outfit that's found in many of the other sets. Like, they couldn't even do the curve lines that they usually give female minifigures. Come on. You can see this is the one from the junior set for Lloyd. And uh, her hair piece is the same. The only cool part are these katanas in this reddish brown, which I think that's new in that color. And also her face print, I believe, is new. It's just a regular smiling face. But yeah, this one's definitely one of the weaker ones. So the only character we're missing, I think, is the last one I felt, which is that Garmadon right there, which is actually one of my least favorites of the series. And let's see who's inside. It is, ooh, Misako. 
Now she's one of my favorites of the series. Great smile, great new hair piece, just a great outfit. And yeah, don't mind getting another one of these because I did get her in my other opening. Uh, I'm gonna try a low angle shot this time. Let's see. And, oh, it's just another Lloyd Vonnegut. And again, just like Misako, I say it's another because I did open this up in the last opening. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I like that they included the Green Ninja outfit in a cheap way because it doesn't come in too many cheap sets, but it just feels weak when you have the same exact facial expression that's found in the sets. Also, uh, the schematics is really the only new print of this whole design. And yeah, it's cool that they have the outfit and even this little hair piece, but still, it just feels like a disappointment to me. All right, let's see who's inside this one. And it is... Oh, cool, another Volcano Garmadon. Yep, don't have much complaints with this one because it's such a unique outfit. Still, why do they have three Garmadons in this series? All right. That's that. It's funny because the only one I'm missing is that third Garmadon. This is... Oh, cool, the, the Shark Angler or whatever. Another nice figure from the series that I did get in the last opening, but uh, yeah, don't mind getting an extra of her because she has a great face piece and just an overall great outfit. This one is thick with uh, two C's, so let's hope that this is Garmin on the one I'm missing. Oh, actually, no, it's, uh, oh, this is uh, Octopus one, Shark Army Octopus or something. He's not a new one for me, but I don't mind getting a second because it's pretty good. Um, that face, that, 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 that mask reminds me of Octodad. I think it's like the same coloring. I don't like how he has just a regular uh, silver fish because that is so common. It was even with the last minifigure I just opened. It would be cool if they put a more unique color like pink or something. You can even see his face print underneath once you remove this hard rubber kind of uh, squid mask and you can see he's kind of scarred. Come on, Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon. That's the last figure I need. And it is N-Pop Girl. Such an adorable take a shot minifigure. And yep, love this outfit. Great to see a Unikitty little cameo. And now on to the next. Sorry, I probably would have been more excited if, I, I, cause I'm just kind of getting nervous that I misfelt and did not get to on. Okay, all right, all my nerves are, are, are gone. <laughs> All right, that is the figure I was looking for. Ooh, and we only have one pack left after this. That was close. Either way, I really don't like this figure because look, it's the same design that's found in some of the sets. Yeah, sure, the more expensive sets like uh, that outfit right there, this piece, I didn't even notice was a new piece, but it is different from say the molding on something like the volcano uh, piece because you see this one has a rigid armor piece and this one just kind of has a flat armor piece. And of course this one uses the armor piece facing forward. Yeah, this design comes in the Green Ninja Mech Dragon, uh, Garma Mecha Man, but uh, the thing I don't like about it is that it is the same design as those sets, even with uh, the piece underneath, and it's the same face print as most of the sets with Garmadon. I mean, I think uh, the Jungle Bridge has this face and the Temple of the Ultimate Weapon, so I wish they would have done a new facial expression for this particular version. And then the cool exclusive part is this spear right here. That mold is totally exclusive, which that looks pretty cool. And also this hat in that black color, because usually we get this hat in like a brown and stuff for Garmadon throughout the line. So at least this has some exclusive parts, um, more than just one two by three, like the Lloyd in the Ninja outfit. This has two exclusive parts. So at least we got that. Either way, now on to the next figure. Ah, so I'm glad I completed the series. Now let's see who's inside this one, and it is Past Garmadon. So this is the final figure of the opening, another Past Garmadon, which I'm trying to get two of every figure in the series. I usually try to do that unless it's a really bad series, like Series 17, I didn't really get two from. Um, but uh, the design for this, I like a lot, just because of the printing and everything. It's, it's, it's a funny figure more than a useful figure, but you do get some useful pieces. I mean, that's a good photo, and... Um, this little hair piece right here it is pretty useful, but that has come in sets before. So here's the six new ones I got. Three Garmadon and three girls. That's two Gs, wow, GG. And then we got some extras of the two Garmadons, and thankfully the two good Garmadons. Then here's all the other uh, unique ones that I did get in the last opening, but uh, these are all extras from me. I don't think I have like three of any of these, so that's kind of cool that I didn't get any three peats. Um, but I do want three of her, three of him, and probably three of her, 
and yeah, I think that's about it. So that's it for this video. Tell me which one of these was your favorite, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.